Hey, what's going on guys? Well, in just a quick second here, we're gonna be hopping into another shop tour, which I am super excited about. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series here over the last couple of weeks. And by the way, we've got five more weeks of these dropping every single Monday for you guys to enjoy this awesome shop tour playlist. Hey, really quick, if you guys enjoy these, halfway through the video, do me a big solid. If you guys enjoy something from these, leave me a comment down below. That way we can leave some encouraging words for the guests of that shop tour. Today, we got my man Logan Manning with Earth Advocate. That being said, guys, to say a big shout out to Steel, Equipment Defender, Cujo Yardware, and Yardbook for making this tour happen. We're going to talk a little bit more about Steel in just a quick minute here. Without further ado, let's go check it out with Logan Manning of Earth Advocate down in Columbus, Ohio. Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. All right, we're jumping right on into it here. Super excited about this video and super excited about our next guest here. So check this out. A little redemptive opportunity here. This entire shop is going to look a little bit different and there's a good reason for it. It's brand new. It's my man, Logan Manning. What's up, bud? What's up? How you doing? Doing great. Dude, it's so good to see you again. Absolutely. Uh, we've actually been hanging out for about two and a half hours. Yep. Uh, we actually went to a pretty cool lunch restaurant in town. Uh, thank you so much for hosting. Absolutely. It's so Thanks cool to... Uh, dude, of course. <laughs> pleasure's all mine. Uh, so last year, if you guys happen to remember, Logan Manning was on the uh, Spring Shop Tour series. And like weeks before, months before, they got the boot from where their old shop was at. And uh, I said, well, I don't want to like reschedule. Let's come down. We'll do a, uh, you know, a setup and all that fun stuff. But uh, I asked you if you wanted to come back on this thing because you guys got your new setup. Yep. And so what's going on, bro? So we're in our new setup. So this is the redemption tour. It's uh, all you. Take it away. All right. <laughs> so basically uh, in the last video, our stuff was at three different locations and you know, it was just kind of crapshoot at that point. And, we talked about that and we still had fun, made a fun video and stuff. But, it was a good time. Yeah, but this is what we were working towards. So now you get to see the realization of where we were going at that point. So this is the new shop. It's uh, over 5,000 square foot on three and a half acres. And uh, we can start looking around at some stuff. I'm following you, man. Where do you want right. to go first? So we keep our bulk salt over here in the shipping container. And uh, we didn't do much salting this year. It was not a good winter at all, but when we do salt, that's where it stays and we can take it out with the skid steer, load our trucks right here and then just roll out to our properties. So here's our fleet of trucks right here. We've got the flatbed. This is a dirt work truck right here. And then if you want to come look at it, yeah. I'll show you some of this stuff on it. Just cause I'm, I'm proud of this truck. So this truck's pretty cool because it's old obviously, but completely frame off nuts and bolts restoration, the whole thing. Got a flatbed on it, toolboxes, 3,500 with airbags. I mean, what more could you ask for? A beautiful truck. Yeah. So this pulls our skid steer around. It's got a transfer tank in it, all that jazz. So this truck we just got back actually, um, just single cab Chevy, but we completely restored this one too. Only has 80,000 miles on it. Picked it up for a little bit of nothing and then put a brand new cab, flatbed on it. It redid the frame, everything. And so now the truck's worth twice what I paid for it because we did a little restoration on it. You remember the 6.4? That's my old truck. Now it's a project truck. We have everything debadged here. Shameless plug for Daily Hustle. They are sending us decals to put on all of the trucks. They're all numbered, ready to go. Now that we have a place to actually put everything. There you go. And then this is our two newest trucks that we just got here. Uh, Cat Eye Chevy in really good shape. This is a Mo truck. These are both Mo trucks and these are both project trucks. And then my new rig. So I got into a little 1500 now because I'm pretty much out of the field and I want something with better gas mileage. And kind of shoehorns me into to a position I can't like do too much, you know? I there gotta go. focus on what I'm supposed to be doing and let the guys do what they're supposed to be doing. I dig it. Yep, so this is the fleet right here. All right, so where are we headed to next, bud? I'm following you. We have a service partner who operates on the property with us and shares a bay, and he's a mulch producer. It's Royal Mulch, <laughs> and um, back here we have our full production of all of our mulch. So we have on-site mulch, mulch production. We don't have to go anywhere to pick up mulch now, which is really nice. It's literally in our backyard. So I'll show you that real quick. So back here we have our bulk fuel tanks, some trailers sitting out here. Some of our old snow equipment and uh, like, you know, equipment attachments and stuff like that, just staged back here. We'll actually be putting more gravel back here and then a lean-to to store all of this stuff that's just sitting there right now. Um, all in due time though. And then that's our the mulch uh, operation back there. So we've got natural brown, triple brown, uh, triple black, and we literally just pull out of our shop load up and roll out so you got a mulch supplier in your backyard yes it's awesome <laughs> that's pretty convenient very very nice 
Um, so in the back side, uh, I'll just show you a little bit what we're planning here. This area right here is where I was talking about. This is all going to be graveled. There's going to be another little building here for all of our attachments and storage. And then we'll have like probably some of our inventory in there, like skids of grass seed, um, uh, straw net blankets and stuff like that. But we plan on doing a break between the gravel and the mulch producing area. And we're actually going to do a pollinator garden there, which will be pretty cool too. So we'll have uh, all sorts of, you know, local flowers and stuff like that. Try to attract bees and butterflies and you know, make it nice back here. I love it. Have a little break and I don't know, try to uh, help the pollinators out too, since it's mainly gravel here. So I'll show you inside next. All right, guys, well, hopefully you're enjoying this tour here with Logan Manning of Earth Advocate down in Columbus, Ohio. The man is doing a great job and he's such a humble dude, but they've got it going on. Would you guys do me a really quick solid, help the algorithm out a little bit too, if you don't mind, big thumbs up on the video. And if you wanna leave a comment down below saying congrats to Logan and his team, I'm sure he would really appreciate it. I know he's gonna be reading the comments here later tonight. Hey, one thing I also wanna say, a big shout out and thank you to the tour sponsors. Five of these tours were actually part of a loop that I did all the way through Ohio, Pennsylvania, and then back through Michigan. That takes time. Time, that takes money, that takes attention away from our traditional lawn and landscaping business, Brian's All Maintenance. So I wanna say a big shout out and thank you again to the tour sponsors. We're gonna be doing some additional videos here before you know it with some of the steel product. A lot of you guys know that we have the FSA 130R and we also have the FSA 90R and those are the battery powered products that you guys saw last summer and had some great feedback on. By the way, Steel actually sent us their new AP500S battery. We were complaining a little bit last year about the battery life of the other batteries, but I guess these are the big dog ones and these are what a lot of you guys said that we should upgrade to if we're actually trying to make battery a go for some of our hand tools. So that being said, big shout out to Steel and make sure you guys hit subscribe to the channel so you guys are notified when those videos do release here in a couple of weeks. All right guys, well that being said, let's hop back into it here with Logan Manning of Earth Advocate. Super appreciate him opening up his shop, his facility, taking time away from his business. He's got it going on. Logan, great job, brother. Let's go check out the rest of this tour. So here is the inside of the shop in all of its glory. So we've got our tool wall here. And uh, we had to go through and reinforce all this because tools actually weigh quite a bit when you actually hang them up. Sure. So all of our Razorback stuff, they've got tape on them, reflective tape, whether they're for project or, you know, regular crews. Um, everything goes back on the racks. Everything gets put away in the evenings. We try to keep the shop nice and tidy. But this just makes it really comprehensive and uh, easy to grab when everybody's rolling out. There you go. Um, and then behind you. Here, I'll get you. There we go. Our, our uh, racks here is where we keep all of our hedge trimmers underneath, blowers, random stuff that just accumulates, of course. That shelves a little bit low right now, but that usually has grass seed on it and that kind of stuff. And then all of our smaller equipment, uh, edger, billy goat vacuum, rototiller, uh, what else? Some leftover sidewalk salt and spinners and stuff. Cool. Doing applications right now. So that's out. By the way, you said you guys have one person that rents one of the bays, but do you know how big the unit is in here again? Um, so this shop is, I think it's around 5,000 square foot or okay. so. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, so this, this uh, roto chopper here is the guy who does the mulch. So he has a bay as well. And um, he's able to just pull his stuff in and operate out of the same building here. And but then, the rest is all you guys. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. And then uh, our skid steer, which we've covered before, but yeah, that, that video blew up on Facebook. Yeah, it's it's still chugging along. I mean, can't say enough good things about the Gale. Um, we use it all the time. We just used it yesterday. That's why it's covered in mud. It hasn't been cleaned yet. Well, here, take me over there. We'll see. Okay. In case guys didn't see the uh, tour last year, because uh, a lot of guys, uh, a lot of good feedback from that video, both on YouTube and Facebook. Yep. And uh, not a brand that you see as much as maybe the Bobcats or Caterpillars. Right. But this thing has been a, uh, just a Swiss army knife for you guys. Oh yeah, I mean, it's a workhorse. I mean, so we have a bucket, forks, soil conditioner, super seeder, uh, flail mower. Okay. We have something else too. I can't remember right now, but anyway, plenty of attachments so that it's very, very versatile. And uh, it's just been amazing. I mean, we run it to death. I mean, three, four days a week during the regular season, it's always doing projects, grading, planting trees, whatever you might might have coming down the pipe, but no issues, not, yeah. not a single issue so far. And uh, actually they just 
had taken into the field yesterday to plant some uh, white pines. Cool. So she's dirty, needs clean, but. Right. Um, so one of our trailers is in here. You probably saw around back, we have our dump trailer. We actually have a second dump trailer that's just supposed to be coming in. Um, it's a smaller trailer, so we can pull it behind our smaller trucks, just like little jobs where we don't need the big one, or if we need to carry more mulch and, or, you know, put spring clean up junk in one and then mulch out of the other. So that one should be here soon. Uh, we just picked up this trailer. So this is a new one. We have two 16 footers now. One is not on site. It actually got dragged home with one of my guys. Um, so two 16 foot trailers to put all of our mowers on. And we're still rocking with the Hustlers, of course. Yeah. So we've got three Super Zs. Two of them are hyper drives. We still have the Ferris uh, Stander, which we've had really good luck with that Ferris, actually. Um, I, I Cuts fine, holds up fine. You know, no issues whatsoever. And that's just a Z2 model. It's not the, the big Z3 or anything like that. Yeah. But good luck with it. Yeah. And then our Hustler Stander as well, which we have another one of those coming as well. Yeah. You've run a uh, Hustler for a while now. We have, yeah. Um, we started out with some secondhand mowers with a bunch of hours on them, of course. And we had uh, rights at that point. And then we had two rights and two uh, X1 Hustlers. And the Hustlers are just so good that we um, we've stuck with those. Dude, that's awesome. Yep. Um, hey, elephant in the room, the lift, bro. The like, lift. You're like one of the first shops I think I've done that has a lift. Okay. Well, it's very, very handy. I'll say that. So <laughs> sure. uh, we, we have a mechanic on hire and, uh, so he takes care of all of our trucks. He did the restoration on that Chevy that I already showed you. Um, so having a lift here is just amazing. I mean, doing routine maintenance, just swapping out brake pads or, you know, lifting it up to look under it. Uh, we could even rig this where they flip in and extend to lift up mowers and scrape decks and stuff too. Oh, so you use it for the equipment too? Yes. Oh, yeah. wow. To a certain point. Yep. Obviously couldn't put this on there or anything, but it, uh, it's just extremely handy for any sort of your routine maintenance kind of things. Um, we plan on, this is like ridiculously expensive for some reason, but we plan on getting a full wall uh, work chest there and then you know, toolboxes and stuff. So that'll be fully stocked and... Oh, you're saying on the back side of the lift area? Yeah, so against this wall. Okay. That whole thing. What are you getting, what are you getting quoted for? 20, 30 grand? Oh, no, actually, uh, it's like 15, but it's just a Harbor Freight one, like a US General. Sure. But you can, it's modular, so you can build it out completely. Oh, that's cool. It's the same quality as Snap-on and a third of the price. So we'll just set that up with all of our Milwaukee tools and all of the random tools that we have in one place and make this a super effective, you know, working center. For, I love it. For regular maintenance. Hey, let me ask you this really quick, um, yeah. just to interject. Uh, what's it been like culture-wise, company morale-wise? Because you guys have been in a couple different places, like you said, the last 12 months. Right. Uh, versus everybody just meeting on site, getting to hang out in one spot. They can be proud of the company, its growth, and, mm -hmm. you know, just having a, a home base. So what, what's that done for the company? Uh, it's done wonders for it. The guys... I mean, I'm super thankful for my guys. They're like wholeheartedly into this. They treat it like they own the business too. You know, they take great pride in it. So when we got the shop and the, actually the first time we actually were all in the shop together was our Christmas party. Oh, cool. And I, I mean, all the guys are just sitting back looking like, you know, we did this because we, we try to make guys understand like, this is hundred percent you. This isn't just, you know, me and my wife, like without you guys, this wouldn't be here. So they have a great sense of pride and accomplishment in it. And then logistics, when it comes down to the uh, money end of things and logistics ends of things, it just frees it up completely. Working out of three different locations, having guys meet on site, all that cost control is very difficult, mm -hmm. but it was a necessity at the time, unfortunately. And so it, it's completely changed the game for us, like all around. Well, congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Appreciate that. And uh, it's just cool to see everything growing like a year later and you guys are posting up some solid revenue numbers, man. You were telling me some numbers when we were driving and yep. uh, it's awesome to see the growth. Yeah, it is, you know, for all those guys out there who watch YouTube video and say, all these young guys, they, you know, buying this equipment and all of this, they don't know what they're doing. Well, maybe not, but here we are, right? <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that, bro. Seems to be working so far. I love it. So, we have to have the American flag, of course. Amen. That was one of the first things the guys put up. But we have our fuel here. Uh, I think we need to put this in like a fire cabinet, so. Uh, 
We'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Don't, <laughs> don't send a hate don't email. Let the local fire marshal see this video. There you go. <laughs> so anyway, that needs to get put away. But anyway, it's nice having this all stage. We have our weed whackers there and more random little stuff. We plan on getting a lot more pallet racking uh, so we can put a lot of the smaller stuff off the floor and then, you know, grass seed and stuff, file it away so it's out of, off the floor and out of the way. There you go. And then through here, which this is pretty nice for the guys too, we have break room slash bathroom set up. We've got our chairs out right now for our future podcast. But it's nice because it has a shower, shop sink, bathroom and then uh, our whiteboard truck maintenance stuff here all of our keys hung up and then this coffee bar which gets used a lot because my guys that's what they run on coffee pretty much and then we have a refrigerator we keep that fully stocked for the guys uh red bull gatorade waters whatever they might need so they can grab it in the morning go out we're not stopping at gas stations we're going straight to the job site dude that's awesome yep so the, the like 30 bucks it cost me to stock that fridge once every two weeks um you don't have to worry about that coming out labor because guys are stopping at gas stations instead just you know take care of the guys and save yourself some revenue it's a it's a win-win that's awesome man yeah. i love it so it's a pretty nice little place i mean everything i've dreamed up to this point that's and awesome i was here last night just buttoning some stuff up and it was you know kind of quiet in here and i was just looking around it's it's very surreal you know, when you work this hard for something and then you get there and I can tell you when we're making a YouTube video, like, hey, here's our plans. Everybody's got plans, but when it comes, you know, when it comes together and your focus actually materializes, it's, it's pretty amazing. Dude, that's awesome, man. Definitely a blessing. I love it. Yeah. Well, uh, anything else you got these guys, man, but um, that's, uh, we super appreciate the tour and um, thanks for everything that you're doing. And uh, we're gonna bang out a podcast, like you said, but yeah. um, any final thoughts? But if not, where, where can people find you, by the way? Okay, so on Instagram and Facebook, just Earth Advocate Ohio. Um, we have a website, earthadvocateohio.com. Um, leave us five star reviews. Don't say mean things. And uh, we do have a YouTube, but we don't really put anything on it. So uh, not even a, uh, I think we got like one video on there, but sure. Mainly Facebook, Instagram, and our website. If you want to check us out, check out our work, see my guys, it's all there. Awesome, man. Yes, all right. Sir. We'll appreciate the time, brother. Absolutely. We'll, uh, let's go bang out that podcast, and uh, we'll catch up soon. All right. Thank you.